it's Pelle here and I hope you guys liked the preview of this Y2K VHS effect I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today. It's pretty pretty cool looking in my opinion. Uh, it needs to be one of my favorite VHS effects I've made for this channel, not gonna lie. <laughs> and also I have to announce that I've recently released a Y2K FX pack. If you guys are interested in this pack, it's going to be a preview up now on how it looks. It's going to be available in the description if you want to check it out. Now, let's get into the tutorial. So here, I'm in After Effects. I have added a footage of iSpice. And yeah, I'm going to be starting off by creating a adjustment layer. So I'm going to be pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And I'm going to start off by adding an effect called Unsharp Mask. And here I'm going to be increasing the amount to 100 and then the radius to 10. So this is basically going to get that low quality kind of VHS look that I have uh, on, yeah, on old VHS cams basically which is going to help sell this effect even more and after that I'm going to be adding Sapphire Glint and this is one of the effects that I think really makes it even more white to k with that like glitter glint kind of look to it a very cool look in my opinion yeah I think this is yeah obviously too bright so I'm going to drag it down to 0.5 and I'm going to keep the rest of the settings at default. If you guys want, you can, you know, increase or decrease the uh, size settings, the threshold blur, threshold, depending on what your clip. I think these settings, these normal settings works pretty good for this uh, clip here. So I'm going to keep it pretty default. And after that, I'm going to be adding sapphire grain to this. And I'm going to decrease the color amplitude to 0 0.2. So the uh, yeah, grain is going to pop a little bit more. And after that, increase the color frequency to 250. Get this, yeah, grungy, grainy look here for our footage. And now I want to drag down the quality a little bit more. So I'm going to be adding mosaic to this. And here I'm going to be increasing the horizon blocks and vertical blocks to 500. And this is going to be the difference here. If you guys can see, it's going to be a little bit more blurry, a little bit more, yeah, pixelated. So, so if I zoom in a little bit, you guys can see how it's going to look, the difference here. Pretty clean. After that, I'm going to be adding JPEG damage to this. Also a sapphire effect here. One of the, one of my favorite ones for, yeah, getting a low quality clip, basically. Really, really cool. And here, I'm going to increase the quality to 0 0.5 and then decrease the quality by increasing the rest factor. So it's going to look something like this here to decrease the quality a little bit. As you guys can see with the pixels here after that, I'm going to be adding hue and saturation to this. And here I'm going to drag down the saturation a little bit. So minus 25, 30 around there. I think it's going to look a little bit more like VHS. It's not that colorful it's a little bit desaturated the yeah VHS look in my opinion after that i'm going to be adding transform and now we're going to be basically stretching the footage horizontally so um, we're going to uncheck uniform scaling and here go to scale width and then just increase it a little bit to 120 i would say it looks good which also gives me that nostalgic style to this really, really cool when it's like yeah, stretch like this. Uh, after that, I'm going to be adding a fast box blur. Increase the blur radius to 2. Again, unsharp mask. Increase the amount to uh, 150. And then the radius to 3. And after that, to create black bars on the sides, I'm going to be adding a motion tile. And here, I'm going to be decreasing the output width. 65, I think, looks good here. So this is the look we got now. And the last effect I'm going to be adding is called mosaic last little touch just increase the horizontal and the vertical blocks to 400 to really get that vhs resolution it's going to look something like this absolutely amazing in my opinion I'm really satisfied with this effect and now i want to add a little bit more elements to really really sell this y2k effect here so what we're going to be doing is basically road to brush this clip here we have and if you guys don't know how to roll the brush, I've actually made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description so you guys can go and check it out. Now after you have roll the brush your first clip, it's going to look something like this here. Roll the brush then done. After that, press Ctrl D to duplicate the clip. Then delete the roll the brush effect on the bottom clip here so we get the background back. And now I'm going to be adding a texture from my white k effects pack. So here if I open up the folder with the textures here, I could add for example the glowing hearts. I think that looks cool. So I'm going to drop that one in. It could look something like this. 
And you guys can see it has some bonus textures here. So if I open it up, here we have some pretty cool textures in my opinion. I'm going to be adding the Y2K VHS texture here. Drop it in. And we're going to start off with the glowing hearts here. So I'm going to drag it down between the rotor brush clips here. Go to toggle switch and modes and then change it to a lighten. You guys can use lighten or screen depending on what look you guys want. I'm probably going to go with screen because then it's going to keep the glow on the hearts a little bit. So if we add the Y2K effect, so this is a fast preview of how it's going to look with the hearts. Really, really good in my opinion. And now I'm going to implement the Y2K VHS texture. Here, I'm just going to add curves to this. Adjust the color a little bit. I'm going to make it a very high contrast here. And then change the blending mode to lighten. And drag this under the effect. So it's going to look something like this here. And you guys can go to scale. Uh, uncheck the link here. So you guys can basically stretch it or make it more uh, narrow. Of like this looks good in my opinion. And then if you think it's too bright. You guys can of course open up the settings. Drag down the opacity a little bit. To 50. So you can still see the text. So this is going to be the result of combining the Y2K. VHS effect and using some Y2K textures from my Y2K FX pack and if you guys are interested in this pack I'm going to give you guys a discount code, it's going to be Pelle If you use that code you guys will save $5 of that pack Now I think this looks absolutely amazing and of course you guys <laughs> want to save this as a preset So basically go press Ctrl A on the effects uh, here So you guys marked all the effects, go to animation, save animation preset Tutorial presets, Y2K, VHS, effect, and then press save. Now you guys have your Y2K, VHS effect saved and done, so you guys can use it for, for later, whatever project you're working on. I hope you guys really enjoy this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Y2K, VHS tutorial. This is probably one of my coolest <laughs> VHS effects I've ever made. I was pretty excited to make this tutorial and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys liked the tutorial, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com where I have the Y2K effects pack if you guys are interested in that. Don't forget to check out my socials, join our Discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.